you risk your whole life over leaking Starfield content? Oh my god. Out of all the games out there, you gave up your freedom over Starfield. Boy, oh boy. Let's get into it. I've ridiculed everyone on the roster. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. The double chat does what the f he wants. What is up, guys? It's your boy Hercules, and we are back at it again. I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet. So if you guys have been living under a rock or you guys have not been keeping up with the gaming news, Starfield has a major leak or a leaker out there. I believe he's been caught now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been caught. Uh, I forgot what the name of the guy was. Um, so Starfield over the weekend had a major leaker out there. Uh, who put up, I believe it was 43 hours or 43 minutes of content of Starfield. Where it shows you like the very beginning of the game and stuff like that. Um, I gotta be honest, I looked at it. I'm not impressed. But hey, I've said it from the very beginning that Starfield isn't for me. Nothing about Starfield connects to me. Nothing about Starfield impresses me, but it might impress you, and that's okay. I'm still going to make fun of you. I'm still going to make fun of the Xbox. I'm still going to make fun of the Sony ponies that cry, and you can call me a Sony pony. You can call me an Xbox. You can call me whatever the hell you want. That's totally fine, but let's get back into the topic. So, Starfield having this major leak, or leaker, I can say, um, yeah, they reveal a lot of stuff, um, but again, not a lot of stuff because supposedly this game takes around, this is the thing. So they say it takes around 30 to 40 hours story-wise, but it takes 100 to 200 for the whole game. I don't know if you guys remember, but there was a game that came out and it had a similar theme, right? It had a similar concept of that, where like the story was 30 to 40 hours, and then everything else that was in the game was like 300 to 500 hours. I believe that game was called Dying Light 2. And I don't know about you guys. Maybe I'm not that hardcore of a gamer, but 500 hours, 200 hours, whew. The game has to be a masterpiece for me to jump in there and play it from the beginning and all the way to the end. And look, there are games out there that I've done that. There are games out there that I 100% complete. I can't remember how many Platinums I had in my PS3 and my PS4, but I've always done new accounts. In my new PS5, I believe I only got like six games maybe five, and they're all the PS5 exclusives because they, for some reason, connect to me. Now, there are other games out there that I've tried to get every uh, Platinum because I really felt into the story. I really liked it, but then I would struggle to figure out why I couldn't get this stuff or it was either glitching out, stuff like that, whatever. But when I hear, oh, it's going to take you 100, 200 hours, I don't care. I first want to play the game to get the feel of it. So this leaker decided some way, somehow, he got a handful of freaking copies. And I don't mean just regular copies. I mean, he got a, a couple regular copies, but he also got the more expensive one. And then the really expensive uh, Starfield Collector's Edition. I don't know how he did, but this man put out video after video after video, I believe. That's what they said. Then he tagged Todd Howard, I believe on X or Twitter, whatever you want to call it now. Um, and they found him. They got him. I mean, it, it didn't take that long. They got pictures of him and video of him. 
And the guy was saying basically that, yeah, he basically he was a beginner and uh, he didn't really know what he was doing. But to him, it was a badass game. Again, this is coming from him. So that's his opinion. My opinion, I look at it. I'm not impressed, but hey, you never know. Maybe I'll pick it up when it's $20 and I can throw it on my Xbox and finally go use my Xbox Series X. But aside from that, this guy tagging Todd Howard was one of the most dumbest thing I've ever heard. This guy was asking for trouble and he found it because I believe, I think I saw somewhere where he was going to get charged for many, many years to even the point of getting fined over $10,000 or more. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to this young man, and I hope he's here, and I'm going to try to insert some clips of him here and there, and I'll probably end it with him talking about the game. But look, you risk your livelihood. You risk your freedom over Starfield? Over Starfield? One thing would be over God War or Spider-Man 2 or another new Batman or GTA 6. But Starfield? Man, you deserve to be locked up. That is the dumbest thing I ever heard. But hey. There's always dumb people for everything, right? I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you guys think. Have you guys heard about this news? Have you guys seen the leaks? What are your thoughts about this? Um, and uh, let me know if you guys are getting Starfield. Uh, because I'm definitely not. The only way I'm going to get it, it's either somebody gives it to me for a birthday or Christmas. Or it's on sale at a $20 bin or $10 bin because we all know a lot of times buggy Bethesda games they end up in the in the bins and uh yeah yeah but let me know what you guys think down below if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time